Hey, it's Katie Mae and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so as I am feeling this, I'm gonna be hitting this plant. Okay. <laughs> okay, y'all, so we just completed our first week of pre-K homeschooling. And oh my gosh, this is going to be a lot harder than I originally anticipated. Okay, so as you all seen from my previous videos, and if you know me personally, you've heard me talk, and I've just been so excited about homeschooling, and I was like, this is gonna be great. I'm just gonna kill this. It's gonna be wonderful. Well, that's not how it went. <laughs> Okay, so to start off on our first day, we did their first lesson in their pre-K um, course booklet from The Good and the Beautiful. And you guys, it was so simple, such simple stuff. I seen the true um, personalities of my boys come out. Brayden, <laughs> he was very interested. He acted like he wanted to learn but his attention span is like this. It's so small. I would literally, okay, if you're familiar with the good and the beautiful, like all the black letters you read, like it, it's that laid out for you. It, you read the instructions, like what you say to your child, like, oh, do you want to learn to read? And they say, yeah, okay, I think you can do it. You guys, I would get like three words into these instructions and this would be bright and he'd be like totally excited. Look mom, dog, look mom, bird. Just off the wall crap. And it would have helped if I had closed the window, but I didn't, I had it open. It was like that the whole time, but he was happy. He acted like he was excited and he was really interested in what we were doing. Braxton was a total different story. From the very first thing I'm sitting there, the minute I made him sit down, you guys, okay, this is gonna be the ugliest face you've ever seen. This was his face. The whole bag of time. It took 30 minutes to complete this first lesson and the whole time I just heard him. And anytime I'd, answer, I'd ask him a question, his answer would be like, like I couldn't even make sense of it, you guys. I can't even tell you how many times I had to stop and connect with Jesus. <laughs> Especially with Braxton, because y'all will be real and will be honest here. I have been struggling here lately with just like losing it with my children. And I've been just trying to walk away, just go get some time with the Lord. And literally that day we got started and I'm like, oh God, I just, I just prayed through yesterday and today I'm, I'm about, I'm about to have to come, come, I'm about to have a come to Jesus meeting. Literally, I would ask him something, turn around to that face and he wouldn't answer me. I had to literally, like here's breaks and I literally had to go, Lord, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Jesus, just help me. Help me not to snap because like for real, that would have been the making of a mom's snapped show because that's how I felt. <laughs> so this is just me real honest right now as a Christian mom who's really trying her hardest. You guys, it's not easy. It is not easy. And I've had a lot of people tell me, you know, they are too young. I could see where you think that, but they're about to turn four in like two months. If you hear blabbering in the background, it's Benji. He's supposed to be napping, but he's fighting his sleep. So he's in there just cooing and a gooing and talking to himself. But anyways, I understand where people would think it's too early, but they're about to turn four. If you look at the Good and the Beautiful's uh, language arts curriculum, they have a pre-K and then a K primer and then kindergarten. So as they're turning four, we're doing pre-K. 
I mean, even if they don't get everything and they don't know all their ABCs, hey, if they pick up on a few things, it will be worthwhile. Then we'll go to K Primer, which is a step down from kindergarten, next year when they are turning five. We'll be working on that, so just more review, taking these same um, concepts, just getting it in there some more. And then the year that they are about to turn six, if we done a normal like fall, starting the fall school year, this would be the year that they go to kindergarten. We'll start kindergarten. So no, it's not too early. We're literally just doing preschool type work. Now, I also need to remind myself and remind you guys as well, I am teaching boys, twin boys at that. It's no big secret. I'm not bragging on females or nothing. This is just how we are made. Most boys just do not like school. Most boys are harder to teach. That's, that's just how it is. And most girls can grasp concepts easier. And same with raising boys. You hear girls get potty trained quicker, easier. They mind better. And then boys are just tornadoes. It's a totally different story. And then it switches when they get older. I've heard girls are heck. <laughs> And boys are easier once they get older, at least that's what I'm holding on to. But yes, I literally told you guys about this composition notebook in one of my school supply videos, what I was using it for. And I took my notes on my school day, cause I told you guys, this is just recording. I have my planner and I've got what I wanna do each day, but then I'm keeping this to record what we actually do and just keep any notes that I wanna keep. So it's our I'm just gonna read you all straight up my notes. I wrote down the plan, what I wanted to get done. I wrote down what we actually did. And then I wrote my lessons learned or things that need attention. My note, my first note was something that needs attention was Braxton's pouting and whining. My second note was to pray, all caps, always <laughs> for starting. Note number three was to try small breaks. You guys, the whole lesson in itself did not take that long, but apparently we need little breaks. Step four was to, I just wanted to remind myself, hey, maybe we should try reviewing often, just throughout the day. And uh, note number five was that Brayden has a very short attention span. So this is like, it's right there, plain as day, like that's, that's the notes I took. Let me see if I got any other funnies from last week. <laughs> from the second day of our first week, I put tracing A's did, in all caps, not go well because I gave them a marker. I made these beautiful little binders that I'll show you on another video with their ABCs and we just started with A, capital A, that's it. And I showed them 50 million times how to trace it. I gave them a marker, what did they do? Just start scribbling all over the place. Mama got aggravated quick, took it away, said so forget it. <laughs> Then my notes for the Thursday, we're doing three day um, homeschool weeks. This is our last day. Hands on crafts are much more successful. <laughs> that was a lesson I learned. The boys loved cutting. They, they were pros at using them scissors. That was their favorite part of the entire week was get to cut stuff. Um, and then Brayden, God bless his soul. He still has a lot of practice to do on learning his colors. Braxton's got them nailed. He's had them down for months. Brayden, I don't know if it's a stubborn boy thing or what, but he just, I don't know. What is it? He'll go, he'll literally say, what is it? I'll ask him, what's this color? He'll go, what is it? I don't know. And then Braxton's got the same problem with, I can't. And I tell him, can't never could do nothing. So y'all just like pray for me because this year is probably gonna be a lot more challenging than I ever thought. And I'm gonna I'm gonna probably be humbled a lot this year and I'm gonna be just really relying on God to get through it because yeah, homeschooling twin toddlers is probably not gonna be the easiest thing I have ever done. And each toddler that I add on through the years, uh, it's probably gonna get a little bit harder but I know if I can just get it through the basics and get them more independent, things will get easier and hopefully they will appreciate it one day. But right now we are just going through the motions and not only are the boys learning, 
that I'm learning as well. Just like the workbook stuff probably is not gonna be the most fun thing. But the good thing about The Good and the Beautiful is they have a ton of activities that you can throw in. The boys will love that stuff. I know once we can get to it, the flashcards, flashbooks, whatever, I think those will be much more beneficial. And also, I just need to invest in more hands-on activities, stuff that they can learn with. They do good flashcards. I believe that's just what I really need to focus on. We will still finish this book out this year just because I bought it. And I believe if they take just a little bit from it this year, it'll be worth it. And then we can go on to next year and work on the same stuff and keep reviewing. And next year, their brain will probably be able to process more and maybe they'll get a little bit better with routine and the whining will stop the um randomness of Brayden's discoveries will stop or we'll just embrace it and if he wants to talk about dogs or birds we'll just do a study on birds and dogs whenever that time comes so I don't know we're just we're just gonna ride the wave and see where it goes and pray to God that no, I'm not going to pray to God. I'm, I'm taking back what I was just about to say. I'm going to pray to God for patience. No, I'm not doing it. I've not been praying for patience. And let me tell y'all, I've been tested these past few months, and especially last week, more than I've ever been tested before. Just like, mm. oh, Lord Jesus. Help me. Help me, Lord. But that is all for this video today. I hope you guys enjoyed my real rawness, rawness. I hope you guys enjoyed my real honest <laughs> overview reaction to our first week of homeschooling. <laughs> despite the difficulties and despite me sitting there thinking, Lord Jesus, like I'm, I'm gonna quit because I'm not, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna hold on because nothing good Nothing worth having, nothing worth accomplishing will ever be easy. And I know if I've got Jesus over it all, we will get through this. It may be a struggle. I may be driving that struggle bus, but we will get through this. And in the end, I believe my children will thank me for this. They will hold me to a higher standard because of this. Because I know it's something God's called me to. And through him, I can do all things. Praise God. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.